Yo, what's happening guys? Today, we've got something pretty cool to be checking out. And no, it's not the bike from the thumbnail. I know, I got you guys. Y'all are still doubting the Timu, but you can get some pretty nice stuff from there. I've gotten some pretty decent stuff time and time again. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. So what we've got right here is the Vic Trip J Anus. Straight off of Timu. Uh, when I saw it, I was actually kind of surprised. I was in the market for an e-bike. I was looking around. And then all of a sudden they popped up on Timu for like really good prices, ridiculous prices. I looked into the actual site, Big Trip, the actual company, and they make legit bikes. So I was like, you know what, why not? And so for 700 bucks, which is like half the price of what this would be going from the actual manufacturer, I got this super sweet bike. So we're gonna do a couple of shots of like riding it and stuff. We're gonna see how fast it can actually go, which I'll tell you is, pretty fast I have been uh, testing this thing out for a little bit but I just wanted to do a little something on on camera here and uh, show you guys first thing first here we should probably get a good look at it and don't mind the fact that it's muddy like I said I have been testing it out uh, victrip.com that is the manufacturer of the bike victrip but like I said on Timu half the price All right, so right off of Timu, what it says about this bike is electric bike for adults, 20.8 amp hour removable battery, folding e-bike with 750 watt motor, 75 plus mile long range, four to six hour fast charging, seven speed, 20 by four fat tire, electric horn class two e-bike. Does not have electric horn. So that was a lie. <laughs> it's just got a bell, but everything else true I haven't actually tested out like the long range like I'd like to be able to go take it on a trip and see if I can make it 75 miles maybe another video if you guys like this one a bunch that would be dope but it does have two batteries uh, I've been able to remove one the other one I can't figure out how the frig to get it out it's kind of a pain in the butt to remove them but you can take them out and then actually charge them which is super nice and I mean I once I got it fully charged I've been riding this thing around like crazy and it's still going so uh, it does weigh 80 pounds it folds in half it's actually a lot bigger than what I was expecting I was trying to get something kind of small so I could stick it like under the bed in my van this thing does not fit it's huge <laughs> so I'm actually gonna have to have a hitch put on and uh, get a bike rack for the back but the thing is sweet and I'm pretty glad that I got it and another lie on here I'm pretty sure it said it would go 20 mile an hour and I've tested this thing out and it definitely goes over 20 mile an hour it'll get up to like 30 mile an hour probably 30 over 30 so that, I mean that's a I don't know should you be mad about that it's like they said 20 and I was expecting 20 and I can go faster I, I don't really know it's like if I want I can go slower on it I can turn the speed down and go 20 but well anyways let's go ahead and fire it up so this thing came with uh, four keys and so what you do you got a little keyhole here down where the battery is I'll show you real quick how to remove this battery the one that you get from see it folds in half here the one battery is inside here and uh, there's a keyhole in the bottom and so like you're supposed to be able to use the key to disengage it and pull this battery out I haven't been able to do that but as for this battery what you do you push in on the key and then you go backwards like that then uh, you take the key out and the battery comes right out so then you can plug that in you can just charge right into the battery the seat uh, folds up also, so that way you can get at it. There's the seat folded down. Just got a little lever back here. There's a rail there that the battery slides onto. Then it just goes and slides right back on in. And you can uh, lock it back in like that. And now to turn it on, bam, it's on. So you can check this battery. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Okay, there you go. Yeah, if you press this button, you can see it says full but also you're gonna have a display up here so when you come up here you gotta hold this button for a couple seconds turns on goes through its whole little doohicker thing here BAM and uh, yeah you can see the full battery right there 
So the display here shows you zero PAS, that's pedal assist, and what you want to do, you click that up, and so you got one through five on the pedal assist, five being the fastest, or you can go back down to zero. So you can just ride this like a normal bike if you want. It's got seven gears, regular old gear shifter over here, and your fancy little bell. It's actually got disc brakes, which is kind of wild. I mean, I guess when you're going that fast, you kind of need something a little better than those wheel brakes. But I had a problem with the front brake from the get-go. It's got these little clips on it. I don't know if you'll even be able to see it. It's got these little clips on it that hold them apart. The clip was bent, so the inside brake was constantly hitting. And eventually it ended up just coming right out. And so uh, I had to order new brakes, which was not bad. They were only like 15 bucks for a set of four, so not too shabby. There's another good old view of the bike. It's it's a pretty big sucker, like I said. I mean, it's, it's kind of wild. Got a rack on the back with uh, what looks like mounting for a basket. I think I'm actually going to get front and back basket for it so that way like I can carry stuff. That's always kind of handy. Enough dilly dallying. Let's ride this freaking bike. Alright so I've got the uh, head mounted camera here. Hopefully I'll be able to catch something good. <laughs> but we'll see how this works out. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are on zero pedal assist. I mean, in seventh gear, zero pedal assist, I can do like 10 mile an hour. I mean, like a regular mountain bike or something, you know? All right, we're gonna step it up a notch here. We're gonna up it to one pedal assist. And uh, with this, I mean, you'll go pretty fast. You just kinda gotta chill and pedal. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Let's, uh, let's go for it. Or, I probably should mention, this side, on the right side, you have a throttle. So you can just give it throttle if you want. You don't even have to pedal. I like doing the pedal assist because I feel like you can save on your battery and actually go faster but uh yeah you if you want to just ride this thing like a bike you can just give it some gas and it goes <laughs> all right level one pedal assist Here we go, stepping it up another notch. Level two. You ain't ready for level two. All right, to be honest with you, we're kind of going at this point too fast for this space that I've got. I was hitting like 13 mile an hour and there's still more to go so uh even on level two we're i mean this is a pretty big parking lot that i'm at and we're hitting like our our peak at level two so we might have to move locations honestly uh find a spot where i can hit my max for the next couple levels Alrighty, so for the moment what we're gonna do we're gonna take off on the bike i'm abandoning the van for the moment sorry van you'll just have to wait here and uh we're gonna set out on the road we're gonna get to a spot where I can actually test out the speed so I don't know how the filming's gonna go from here so I'm gonna have to abandon my tripod I'm basically just gonna take what I can carry in my pockets <laughs> and the tripod is definitely too big for that that's why I need baskets for this unit uh, but anyways that's like kind of the point like say I'm parked somewhere with a van and I don't want to undo everything like take the awning down and unset up camp to head out somewhere hop on the bike 30 mile an hour 75 mile range I can go to places and then uh, just ride on back to the van. Let's go. This will be cool. We're going to actually get some, some, road, some road time. All right, so we have arrived at next location. As you can see from the ride over here, uh, we're kind of in the back in like a neighborhood where there's not a lot of traffic, people aren't around right now, and um, large stretch of road where I can get up to like my max speed and stuff. Uh, so we did the number two pedal assist the whole way here so you could see, hopefully, some of that footage, um, what we got up to. I think we were almost hitting 15 at some points. 
1450 and it kind of depends how much I was actually pedaling because when you're on like the first couple levels um, and you have your gear up high the more you pedal the more speed you're gonna get also like you're getting the assist so you're not doing the full work but you're also uh, you're doing some of the work uh, as you'll see when we get to level three and four and five that's not so much the case <laughs> so let's uh, let's go for number three now now that we're in the new location bumping it up All right, so as you can see on level three, well, I don't know if you actually can see, but you're, we're hitting like 20 mile an hour. And at level three, your pedaling isn't really doing a whole lot. Like level one and two, you can actually feel that you're pedaling and you're kind of adding to the speed. Once you hit level three, it's like you're, you're basically just pedaling nothing and the bike is just going and uh, you're hitting 20 mile an hour. And uh, you could also, I think, hit the same speed by just giving it the uh, hand throttle. But um, of course, like that's that's probably going to use more battery because you're not giving the uh, pedal, you're not actually doing any of the work. But anyways, let's jump it up to level four. Let's freaking go. Level four engaged. Here we go. So there you have it, only on level four. We're already hitting 25, 26 mile an hour. And with like little effort, just pedaling. Your pedaling is like basically like um, if you were on a bike at the gym and just had it on like zero resistance and you were just pedaling. It's like, it's like that, honestly. And like I said, you could just give it gas and go too. You don't even have to do the pedaling. But anyways, we're gonna kick it up to warp speed. We're jumping up to level five. Let's freaking go. Warp speed engaged. All right, so we should have caught that. <laughs> um, I was doing 30. Uh, that was my peak right now. Uh, I can tell you it does do over 30, just from my experience of riding it um, on my own without filming. Of course, right now when I'm trying to do this, that's when cars started trying to like pull out. Like there's a truck coming and then another car was coming. And of course there was that sheriff sitting there. <laughs> I think I hit 30 mile an hour right in front of the sheriff. But uh, yeah, anyways, it, it, does, it does 30. It does a little over 30 don't know don't know if you can see now we're down to like two bars of battery so that that's definitely gonna affect uh, that's definitely gonna affect the max speed you're gonna hit 
when you're getting low on battery, you're obviously not going to be hitting those same high speeds as if you had this thing fully charged. It's been a while since I fully charged it. I charged it up and I've been riding it a little bit here and there. And uh, I mean, it showed full today when we started, but it might not have been accurate. Uh, I, I'd like to actually do a test and see uh, if we can hit that 75 mile range. That'd be kind of wild. So uh, you guys let me know down below in the comments, down below in the comments. Also just drop a like, that lets me know that you like the video and you'd like to see some more. But should we try for 75 miles? Or maybe uh, split it in half so that way I can actually make it back without having to, to pedal myself the whole way. But uh, anyways, it's time for the journey back. We gotta get back to the van and let's close out this video. Alrighty, well anyways guys, that does it for today's video. Hopefully I was able to get enough footage to kind of showcase to you guys how cool this thing is. It was a bit of a tough thing to film. Uh, I did my best, so hopefully we got enough we can put it together and make something cool. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Helps out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. Don't miss out on future videos like this or live streams. And uh, if you would like to help support the channel, it's only 99 cents to become a member here or on the gaming channel. That'll get you a bunch of cool perks on either one, whichever one you would prefer. But that helps support me in the videos I make and the channel in general. Another great way, check out some of this cool merch. We got links down below. You can uh, pick up a shirt, a hat, anything like that. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.